Hey guys, turn the dog here and welcome back to episode. In today's episode, I'm making a hint video for the brand new Extreme Doge Killanova, which I was actually the 10th, 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 yeah, 10th person to get, as you see here, as the second person part that was part of the Killanova Group B sweep. Anyways, Killanova has a similar style to the Doge, where there's an intro and then there's a bunch of steps that you have to do instead of just being admin or you just have to magically figure out what the next step is with like no hint except for bush and window. Anyways, the intro is easy enough. You can probably do it even if you're a noob at the game. It's really simple. Just start over there on the blue island. Anyways, all the next step Every step is has its own location and they can be accessed from the UFO. So I'm just going to go there to give a hint for each location. Okay, let's go. Okay. So... First, we have Fractured Hallways. For here, you have to stop the thought of repetition and start the one of the primitive. Next, for the Fractured Temple, you need to take a very common cipher and change it to fit with the circumstances of the step. Then for the Fractured Altar, I honestly don't really know how we did this step. It just sort of automatically solved itself. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. And finally, we have the Fractured Arena, which is where the boss fight is. And the main reason I'm making this video is to just do a boss fight guide. Those are just some extra steps because this doge is extreme, but unlike something like Admin, it's like doable extreme. It's not trial and error extreme like Supernova is. So those are just some extra tiny hints to help you on your journey. But yeah, it's time for the boss fight guide. There's basically three phases. Technically four, but mostly three. Three that like are, you can actually say are different. Okay, so we start with this unskippable cutscene because of course there's an unskippable cutscene. Why would there not be one? And look guys, it's Killanova. Killanova, Killanova from Killanova. Well, 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 it's about time you showed up. I've just been itching to have this battle. Finally, you will repay for what you did to my kingdom. Don't act so surprised. You knew this day was coming. For decades, I've been scouring the universe to find you. But ho, oh, how the tables have turned. It seems that you found me first. Thanks for making my job easier. But now that I have you right where I want you, I can finally do what I wanted to do all those years ago. It's time to end this. Goodbye. Okay, so yeah. Phase 1 is pretty easy. Basically, you just want to shoot at him with the launcher. Yeah, you can press a W twice to spray. You can only do it when the shiny human appears, though. So just try striking away from him and dodging the attack. So here's the axe attack, you just want to jump over it. Fun shooting at him. Yep. So yeah. Straight. Straight. Okay. Whenever he does this, it means it's attack time. This attack is just gonna do a shockwave, so yeah, just jump over the shockwave. It's pretty tight, it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, okay, you just wanna sp spam the star launcher. Thankfully, there's also a lot of. There's really good regen. Okay. Okay, an axe attack again. Just jump over it. I might die. I don't know how, honestly. Yep. Yeah. But just wait for the regen. And strafe. Remember to strafe a lot because you can also deal damage by bumping into him. So yeah, let's hope regen works for us. 
maybe phase one would be like actually hard if there was like no regen or slower regen, but because of the regen, it's really not that hard. Oh, now, now's the portal attack, just get out of the way. Okay, yo, I did a hit. Yo. No. Oh, my HP. Hi. Die. Okay, straight, straight. Straight as far away from him as he can. We just don't want to be close to him. But yeah, we're all already half HP. We should be by full. So... Oh yeah, now he also fires purple beams. And now you have the axe attack again. Okay. There's also a glitch that can sometimes happen during the portal attack where he literally just gets stuck in a portal and you can easily beat phase one. It's getting close. Go on, straight, straight. Oh, let's go. Okay, Ooh. shockwave. Let's go. Okay, so we're basically done now. His HP is low and I'm basically at full. Yeah, you shouldn't struggle too much with this first phase if you're like decent at bosses. Oh god, it's axe attack again. This one can be pretty tight. It's not that bad. Okay, go on. And that's last hit. So yeah, that's basically the entirety of phase one. There's one more attack where he, he drew a frozen orb into the air and then an axe at the orb, which just causes a bunch of projectiles to fall down. Uh, it takes like three seconds to happen and there's red circles on the ground, so it's like really easy to avoid. I don't think I got hit by that attack like a single time. Anyways, now we're gonna have phase two, which is gonna be like sort of similar to the Mafia boss fight from a hat in time, like an infinite warner sort of thing, but it's not an infinite warner, it just makes it look like it is. So yeah, here we have some more cutscening. Also, if you die on phase 2, you return to phase 2, unless you leave, which kind of sucks, but I mean, at least phase 1 is easy. So yeah, now we have Enraged Nova. So yeah. So yeah, now the launcher is too weak against Killanova though, so instead we're going to be having to collect Supernova Sparks to fire a cool attack. Okay, so like the first phase, there's only really there's like only four attacks that you have to learn. So even though this, this phase is pretty hard, like there's only four attacks you have to learn, so it's not that bad. Okay. So first we have this attack, which is basically literally just the Mafia boss sparks from a in time. Like I said, the boss is really similar. It's different in a lot of ways, but it's just really the mind attack. So you basically just do what I do. You can press space, and you can also hold it to do this like a big jump. Here we have Axe, just jump over it. And you can also hold down to fall down faster. So yeah. You have the beam attack, just go to the right and this will not hit you. Apparently that doesn't work if you're lagging, but if that happens, well, the beam attack isn't that hard until like phase 2.5 or 3, whatever you want to call it anyways. Grab the wall attack, just hold space so you can jump over at two walls. You can also do this and do it one at a time, but I find it easier to jump through to the wall. It just makes it faster. I'm going like this. It doesn't really give you next a lot of time to react to the next two walls. And yeah, you get Supernova Sparks after each attack, so technically this boss, while being long, is as long as, for example, Glacius or Supernova. Okay, next you have Wedges, you get a bit, a bit of immortality, wait, no, invincibility, I don't know why I said immortality, after attacking, technically, okay. So yeah, just remember that by holding down, you go down faster because it's really helpful in this case. So yeah, now beam attack, just do it normally or just with the right wall. As I said, this attack only gets hard during the, the phase, whatever you want to call it. Which happens after you attack him four times, I mean, we only attack him once, so yeah, just, just 
jump over two walls or do a one at a time. I find this way easier. Just do whatever you find easier, obviously. But yeah, this part is in that part. But yeah, this part becomes one of the hardest in the next phase. Okay. So yeah. It seems to just work on this one. Ah. Okay, just jump over the axe, collect the supernova, first press the move to the attacking, and then second attack will have to kill the next one. Okay. Spark. Okay, here we have the uh, disc. My strat here is to just jump over a tree, but as I said, just find the way that's the best for the mind, just jump over a tree that holds it down, run to the right, and then go to the tree. Okay. So yeah, we'll attack. Just jump over two, down, two, and down, two, and down, two, and down, two, and down. Two, and down. Okay, yeah. Like this over spark, it always appears to the right. So it's not that hard to miss it. Okay, beam attack. Alright, yeah. Stay in the right. Okay, and the third attack. Oh, and the axe. So yeah, one more attack and we reach for the next part. Okay. Oh, I got hit. I think that's my second one. Alright. Wait, you need to go right. Now it's time for the enrage the, the rage phase. So yeah, now every attack will get harder from now on. So yeah, for now let's just do normal wall attack. But yeah, this attack will become pretty hard now. So now just do the same thing except now there's projectiles after 4 fire, go a bit to the left. Yeah, so you just want to stay to the right until all the beams fall, then go to the left. This attack isn't change, it's only a bit faster, which isn't really changing that much. You yeah, just, just have to be faster. Okay, now I have wall attack, so this is the hard one. Now there's also projectiles, so basically jump over two, then find the gap. Jump over two, find the gap. Jump over two, find the gap. Now it's on the roof, so just want to do tiny jumps so you don't hit the projectile. Tiny jumps, tiny jumps. You see? Just do really tiny jumps so you go under the projectile because the projectile is in the middle. You know, you can do, if you do tiny enough jumps, you can jump right under that. So yeah, here two, three, four, go to the left. Yep, just did that hit one. Next we have axe attack, which is the same, but now the axe will go back. So now we're gonna have sparks with axe, which, as you see, isn't really that bad. The only thing, the only time axe really affects anything is during the game attack. Thank you. Okay, now we have this again. So two, and then gap. Two, gap. Two, and then gap. Okay, so yeah, now just do tiny jumps. Tiny jumps. Or just do a big enough jump so you jump on, over the projectile. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna be able to attack him again. So I think that's the fifth attack. In three, four. In this phase, I think you have to attack three or four times again. Okay, now we got axe attack again. I don't know what time it's gonna be. I'm not coming back to get half sparks again. So yeah, it's really be that bad again. As you see, you can just jump over the axe while it's coming back. Not bad. So you have to do one, two, three, four. If you're lagging, I don't know what to do with this phase. 
guys. Come to your own spot, I guess, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay, we'll attack. Three, so one, two, go back. One, two, go back. And now this. Oh! I might die. At least you know what? Oh, I didn't die. Let's go. Oh, and that's it. It's time for phase three now. So phase three is basically just astral though. There's four attacks again. First you have this, it fall, basically orbs fall from the sky, then there's a middle one, then there's this bullet hell one. Okay, so yeah, middle one again. Then you have this where orbs go from down to up. Oh yeah, there's actually five attacks this remember. Middle one, one with falling orbs, this. Oh god, okay. Projectiles. The final attack is he fires a big orb, and then that turns into a small orb. Yeah, this one. We have middle, stay here. Okay, projectile attack again. Okay. Okay. Go. Oh god, oh god. Thankfully, I'm almost on full. Go. Okay, so he's almost dead now. Yeah, basically you just want to stay in this area. That's literally the strat. Okay, hold on, hold on. Please die. He's almost dead. Come on, die. Oh, the oh yeah, the asteroids also kill you apparently. And that is killing over Doge. Yep. The boss is pretty hard. Well, once you get the strats down, as I said, as you see, I literally first tried it, which I think is like one of the only times I did that for a boss this difficulty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this hint video and also boss guide. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye. And yeah, just can watch these credits if you want to. There's no really things. Yeah, I was the 10th person to finish, so yeah. And here we just have the credits. Yeah, you can, I'll let them roll and then I'll end the video.